Waking up at 4 a.m. is crazy, but in order to achieve the goals that I have, it's what I gotta do. I need someone to be patient with me. Someone to get money when I take it from me. Uh, they don't even need to be as famous as me. I don't think I meet them at the places I be, but deep down I think about you all day, mommy. Thank you to Mom Cozy for sending me this sound machine. Waking up at 4 a.m. starts with a good night's rest. I love the design of their sound machine. It's small and compact, so it doesn't take up too much space on my dresser. Plus, the design is sleek and aesthetic, so it blends in with the rest of my decor. Setting up the sound machine is so easy. All you have to do is plug it in and turn it on, and it's ready to use. Now that I have my sound machine set up, it's time to find my favorite sound. This sound machine has over 30 sounds to choose from. But my personal favorite is the wood crackle. This sound machine is perfect for your little ones. It'll help them fall and stay asleep. It's so easy to use, even Nova can turn it off and on. You can control the volume, sounds, and light with the tap of a hand or by pressing the buttons. But Mom Cozy Sound Machine also has an app called To Your Smart that you can use to control your device. Now I'm able to control my device without having to get out of bed. I can change the color to match the vibe or my mood. Even though this was supposed to be for Nova, I found this sound machine beneficial for me too. This sound machine soothes and relaxes me before and while sleeping so that I wake up feeling real rested with good energy. It makes waking up at 4 a.m. a little bit easier. They even have a flashing rainbow preset that your kids are sure to love. If you're interested, check out the link in the description box below and use my code JS25 at checkout to save. So even though I wake up at 4 a.m., I'm not necessarily out the bed at 4 a.m. because please be for real. <sighs> I usually chill on my phone for a little while before I decide to actually get up. Y'all, I got bad morning breath, so the first thing I do when I get up is brush my teeth because I cannot be going out the house with no stink breath. I usually have time in the mornings to do a little bit of cleaning up. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Half the time, I be going to sleep before Nova, so when I wake up, my room or her playroom end up looking a mess. So I take this time to just do a quick little reset and put everything back in its place. I feel like it's better to clean up in the morning because if I clean up at night, she's gonna end up messing up again. done her playroom is all nice and clean i cannot stand leaving the house a mess so it just works best for me to clean up in the morning rather than at night before i go to bed because i be tired okay in addition to putting all her toys away i also go ahead and put away any books we might have read the night before I don't have an extensive routine for getting ready for the gym. I literally do the bare minimum. So I like to get a warm washcloth and put it on my face. Not only does this help wake me up, but I also like to clean any eye boogers, crust, anything that I might have on my face. And then I spray this Tower 28 spray just because I know I'm going to be sweating. So I try to keep my face as refreshed and clean as possible. Then I go ahead and take off my bonnet, put on my gym clothes, gym shoes, and get ready to work out. Now, this is a little extra, but I do like to put on a little lippy before I go to the gym just because I cannot stand having dry lips. This Fenty skin, baby, it's gonna do it for me every time. When I say this stays on my lips for hours, so sometimes I'm lucky enough that my mama or Zay can watch her while I'm going to the gym, but sometimes I don't be having nobody watch her and I'll bring her right to the gym with me. I do not let having a baby hold me back anymore. Like, no, I still go to the gym, whether she's with me or not. We did post squats, we did squat holds, we did regular squats, we did some jogging, some high knees, a little bit of everything. Um, we also worked on our arms a little bit. When I take Nova to the gym with me, I usually like to bring her a little snack and I gotta keep the iPad or else it's just not gonna work out. But yeah, I definitely have to keep her entertained so that she's not just running around the gym. And sometimes she does get a little antsy, but I just gotta do what I gotta do, okay? Since Nova is up, I like to go ahead and put Gracie or Rachel on the TV so that I can get ready in peace. My shower time is so sacred to me and I like to really enjoy it. So I like to put someone on the TV so I don't have to worry about her coming and bothering me because trust me, she will do it. 
So I make sure that I put all her toys and organize everything before I get in the shower so that when I'm in there, I can find what I'm looking for and I'm not slipping over her toys. Now my shower routine, I would say it's basic, but it might seem like a lot of steps. The first thing that I do is cleanse with this antibacterial soap from Dr. Bronner's. I love this soap, especially when I'm working out because it just makes me feel squeaky clean. The next soap that I use is from Bioderma. I love this because it's super gentle and it makes you feel nice and clean without stripping your skin. So I do double cleanse and those are the cleanses that I use all over my body, but I have certain areas in my body that require a special soap. For example, for my underarms, I like to use Hibby Cleanse. I switch from Pan Oxy to Hibby Cleanse to my underarms just because Pan Oxy is really, really strong. For my downstairs, I like to use this pH balancing cleanser. It's really nice and gentle. For my feet, I go in with this sponge and this African black soap. I started exfoliating my feet every day because I want my feet to be soft. I'm trying to get rid of any dark spots or dead skin. Now that I'm out in the shower, it's time for me to do my body care. So I start off with a little coconut oil from Shea Moisture just to give my skin a little extra hydration and to help with some of my dark spots. And then I use a combination of this toner from Bella Skin Beauty and then this Donna Karen deodorant to help with my body odor underneath my armpits. And then the last thing that I do for body care is use some Eucerin. I use that on my problem areas where I have eczema and little dry spots. And then I get started with my skincare. So I go ahead and wash my face with this La Roche Posé. I've been using this in the winter time because my skin tends to be a little bit more dry. <music> Then I move into my bathroom and I start washing my lashes. I like to wash my lashes after I wash my face, but before I do the rest of my skincare so it don't wipe it off. To tone, I use these pads from First Aid Beauty. And then I go ahead with my Fenty Skin Milky Toner. I really like this because it's not too drying in the winter time. Then I use a little bit more of the Tire 28 spray just to refresh and clean my face. Then I go in with my Ordinary Serum and I top it all off with the moisturizer. Currently, I'm using this one from Tula. It's a 24-hour day and night moisturizer. Once I'm done with my skincare, I go ahead and get dressed and I put on my perfume, jewelry, and lip gloss. The last thing I do before I leave is do my hair, brush out my lashes once they're dry. And sometimes when I'm feeling it, I do my brows, but I don't do this every day. I like to be hands-free when I take Nova outside, so I go ahead and put my lunch bag and my work bag in the car after I'm done getting ready. Now it's time to get Miss Nova ready. I go ahead and change her pamper, put on her clothes, and I go ahead and brush her teeth. After I brush her teeth, I make sure that I wipe it with these tooth and white gums that I got from Fisher Price. Um, this was recommended by her dentist, so this is something that I recently started doing, but it's really just to get rid of any excess toothpaste and to make sure that she's not swallowing anything since she doesn't know how to spit it out yet. <music> I don't do her hair every morning. It just depends on if I have time and if it needs to be refreshed. But this morning I had to do her hair because she was going somewhere. And then I go ahead and wipe off her face, getting these eye boogers out. Nova has long nails and no matter how much I cut them, she always end up scratching her face. So I like to put on Aquaphor just to kind of help prevent that. <laughs> The last thing I do before I leave the house is go ahead and make up my bed and clean up my room if necessary. And then we headed out the door. So before I go to work, I always drop Nova off, typically to her daddy, but sometimes other family members help out as well. Once I get to the office, I always put my stuff down. <laughs> Especially since I started waking up at 4 a.m. If I do not have my coffee, I cannot make it through the day. So right after I clock in, I make my cup of coffee and put my lunch up in the fridge. I like to 
still keep my special ingredients in my office so I'm adding a little bit of extra syrup just to make my coffee extra sweet. So now that I got my fuel for the day, it's time for me to get started with work. The first thing that I do is check my emails to see if there are any fires that I need to put out. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and start planning out my day. So if I have any meetings or if I have any events that I need to attend, I make sure that I write that down so that I'm not forgetting. Once I'm done planning for the day, I go ahead and get started with doing my actual work. But yeah, y'all, this is my little 4 a.m. morning routine. I hope this video was a good mixture of realistic and productive. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and give this video a thumbs up. I will see y'all in my next one.